Okay, good morning everyone. I'd just like to welcome you all here this morning to our uh, webinar session um, from the Involve Group. Uh, now, uh, this is a customer-only webinar that we are actually doing, and the whole purpose is really, I, I suppose, of the, the, the webinar session this morning is that um, that all of you are all of you are actually using our courses in some capacity, uh, whether it be through our unlimited package or indeed individually as e-learning um, on the platform itself. Um, so uh, what we've done today is that uh, we've, we've put together a session, more so from an awareness perspective, um, so that we can uh, let you know of uh, what is actually available to you in terms of from the Involve Group, a supplier that you're currently already working with. My name is Pauline McGrellis and I'm going to be taking you through the session this morning. Um, so uh, what I'd like to do first of all is just to give you a brief um, uh, agenda for the uh, session. Uh, we're just going to take a wee bit of uh, a look at the, the involved group, who we are, what we do and how we're helping. Uh, we're going to look at the traditional methods that um, people like yourselves are actually telling us that they're using to manage the uh, training and compliance uh, within your organisation in terms of the, uh, the the training and the documentation sign off and that that you have to do on a regular basis. Um, we're going to also take a wee look at some of the common issues that are experienced that uh, again that uh, people like yourselves are telling us that come along with managing um, the compliance training within these methods and uh, how our um, how our group learning product actually does help in terms of uh, helping you to manage that on a daily basis. We're going to actually take a wee uh, look at how we do that through a live demonstration of the platform and then towards the end we'll have a wee Q&A session as well. So just without further ado, for the Q&A session, um, what we have in your GoToWebinar uh, little control panel at the right hand, top right hand side of uh, your screen, you'll see it there. There's a week questions session or a week questions uh, area that you can um, just populate the uh, question in there that you want to um, ask and we will pick that as up as we're going through the session. There's also a handout section there uh, which does um, contain the uh, a copy of the slides that um, is uh, used in today's session as well. And what I would say is that we are also recording the session, so uh, we will give you the option to have the recording later on as well um, throughout the, uh, or at the end of the session. So just without further ado, uh, just a little bit about the Involve Group, who we are. Well, as, as uh, some of you may know, for, for a long time now, about 12 years, we have actually been helping our customers primarily within the food industry, but not now we're starting to expand out into to, to other industries, but essentially we have been helping the food industry um, to manage compliance and risk management within their um, within their organisation. And as such, we do provide a, a suite of products that uh, actually help you in your efforts to manage that whole compliance. Now, one of the things that uh, the products that we're looking at today is our Group Learner um, uh, product, which uh, you guys will will obviously know the name. Um, this is the platform that you currently uh, that currently houses all your courses and then uh, your employees log on and do the uh, training via the platform itself. So that's our group learner paperless compliance and risk management solution in terms of our uh, compliance training that's, uh, that, that we need to de deliver within the organization. We also have a product called BRC Manager, which is a centralized paperless quality and compliance management platform for BRC certified industries. Now that pl platform includes and incorporates all of your group learner functions and also then uh, also has the ability to run paperless auditing, setting up uh, your uh, internal and customer audit templates, running them from the tablets, uh, managing corrective actions with photographic evidence, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So again, that is, uh, you know, something that helps you to manage that whole BRC manager, or sorry, the whole BRC 
process in terms of your certification itself and can also help with the likes of um, you know SALSA, ISF, um, uh, you know food standards and that as well, board via you know whatever standards that you have there then it, it, it also helps to manage that process in a paperless manage in a paperless manner. Um, so then to uh, back up our uh, platform uh, and to support that we have a couple of um, other pieces of technology. The Respond Point technology is our interactive group training keypad set, um, system uh, which essentially works in a little bit uh, in the same way um, as the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire uh, TV quiz show uh, and, and this really allows you to push out large volumes of training to large volumes of people so you know we've seen one of our um, one of her customers recently uh, had to push out uh, quite a number, I think there was over 450 uh, people that they had to train up in two different um, procedures, so um, what they were able to do is across three days to, to actually deliver that training with the help of her keypad system itself. And as you all are aware, uh, we have a catalogue, a suite of uh, predefined courses, health and safety and food safety training courses that we supply to you. Uh, to actually run from either the platform itself in an e-learning capacity. We can also run these courses and you can deliver the courses through the keypad solution or also via the use of a tablet as well. So we'll explore this a wee bit further as, as we go along the session this morning anyhow. So just uh, to touch on a, a few of the customers that uh, you know that we're working with and who we do help. Uh, some of you will recognize um, some of them names in there. Um, just as a, an example there we we have uh, Moy Park, uh, one of the largest poultry providers in um, in the world, actually. And um, you know, we're uh, working with Moy Park. They currently have four of their sites actually deploy and uh, or have deployed the Group Learner platform. And uh, we're, we're now working with three others to uh, in the process to bring them on board as well. Uh, CSM Bakery Products, uh, they've got a couple of different sites that use it. Hyder Foods, again, a couple of sites that that, that use the platform. So, you know, if you are in a multi-site environment then this platform can actually be set up uh, to, to, to manage each individual's site compliance but to also give you an overall picture of how as a group uh, you are actually performing as well in terms of your compliance um, itself. So. Um, we just take a wee look, and uh, and again, like you know, I talk to quite a lot of uh, people within the, the the food industry, and you know, we get to know of the traditional methods that are actually being used uh, by people like yourself uh, to manage compliance. And what we see is that, you know, okay. Typically, 80% of your training is actually done via the use of uh, printed documents and printed paperwork. Um, so, you know, what we aim to do is to get rid of that paperwork. But, uh, you know, what comes with managing that is quite a lot of uh, heavy workload and, and different spreadsheets to, to, to manage that training itself. So, you know, we may have someone within the organization who is responsible for maybe our health and safety officer who is responsible for managing the health and safety training. So they may have a, a spreadsheet set up to manage uh, and their matrix to, to, to manage that piece of training. We then typically have HR that are uh, that manage the induction training and maybe food safety training is then um, uh, delivered by either training people on site or indeed you know technical or quality people itself. So what we tend to find when we're talking to organizations is that there are many people within the organization or there can be multiple people who who manage different pots of training on different spreadsheets and then when it comes to actually bringing uh, you know reports or getting reports out of that it's a very very difficult um, uh, thing to do so that is typically you know one of the things that as we, we we talk to customers that we find are the issues with the typical uh, with the traditional systems that are in use at the minute so you know not only is there there um, a lot of paperwork and the workload that's involved with delivering training um, but you know what we mean by that is that uh, you know people constantly constantly tell us about how they spend a lot of time to update uh, spreadsheets as to what training has been delivered, uh, what training needs to be delivered, etc, etc. Um, you know, a typical example of this uh, again is that we had one client um, uh, going back a, a few months ago who uh, came to us with a need, he, he was managing a spreadsheet of uh, 500 procedures that they had to deliver to 200 staff. Now, uh, you know, that's essentially managing a spreadsheet with 100 
a hundred thousand sales on that um, you know which was starting to prove a bit of a challenge um, you know because you don't have these th things in, in like a bird's eye view uh, to be able to see uh, the overall view of compliance itself so it's very very difficult to, to, to run simple reports showing what training needs to be done showing what compliance levels that uh, that we have within our sites or within our group um, with this uh, particular way of working so what we aim to show you today is is how we can ease that whole process, how we can remove the, uh, the, the, the paper that is involved and what you actually find is, uh, and, and what customers are telling us, is that the, the reduction in the cost of the paperwork alone um, you know, actually pays for the system and the platform over and over again. So uh, again, we're all you know, working more and more so towards a uh, paperless environment, um, you know, making it good for our environment, you know, being environmentally friendly and, and things like that as well. Um, but again, you know, a couple of the, the, the major issues that people talk to us about is, is when an auditor is on site and they're looking for proof that we have trained, you know, X individual in a particular discipline or procedure, um, uh, then when it comes to actually finding that paper work can sometimes actually pose quite a challenge and result in non-conformances non um, you know in the auditor's terms itself so now we're going to show you a way how that paperwork you don't need to worry about the paperwork but how the evidence is there uh, on the platform anytime that anyone actually uh, needs to do it and and with our training as well as the training if you're delivering the training uh, from a um, from a, a keypad solution or indeed e-learning or the tablet as and when the uh, the actual training has been completed that is an automatic upload onto your system or an update onto the system that that happens automatically so it's automated um, so that you don't then need to go back and update uh, your, your spreadsheets or your matrix to reflect the uh, the completion of the training and um, you know again people are also talking to us about uh, you know the amount of time that they have to spend preparing for the likes of their BRC or indeed customer audits um, and, and training people up like at given people a given um, uh, period so uh, what we're finding is that a lot of our customers are telling us now that uh, the uh, BRC that their their clients are actually starting to push them down the unannounced route for BR, their BRC audits, so they're having to be made way more prepared for um, uh, you know the BRC audits. So what our Group Learner platform allows you to do is to essentially, as an organisation, live and breathe compliance on a daily basis, so that you are um, ready for your BRC audits every day. And um, you know that is essentially where the, uh, the the product goes. So the solution to help you manage and to address these issues really comes by way of our group learner platform or group learner solution which is the paperless compliance and risk management solution from the involved group so what do you get within the um, the platform the platform really uh, 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 helps you to, to, to manage what it has is got full documentation control so all your SOPs your work uh, work instructions uh, policies etc you have full control of them and uh, a management area within the platform so that you can now actually uh, get paperless sign off on your uh, documents you can manage your documents you can up revise your, your, your documents um, uh, so that you can ensure that the, your employees are all being trained on the latest version of the um, the documentation again another example of this is uh, I had a, a customer not long ago that uh, uh, essentially had non conformances because they're um, in their audits because their their employees were actually been trained on three versions behind the current version of the document so again I'll show you a way that you can uh, ensure that your 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 um, employees are trained on the um, the latest version of the document itself so we're totally removing the need for Excel here um, and uh, what we're also uh, enabling you to do is to, to, to actually set up the likes of um, uh, your employee training plans uh, to issue your, your training courses and your documents and attach them to the employee training records uh, and again you know with the learning management side of it we have the uh, the courseware that is available uh, to you that can actually be run through the um, the classroom via the keypads individual e-learning or the tablet um, and again like with the tablet again we're going to show you how we are 
are able to, um, as a manager, uh, you know, train people um, just on the spot uh, via the tablet applications that we have, and also to sign them uh, documents off without the need of paperwork, and to actually have that electronic copy or the electronic sign off moving forward. Okay, so um, without further ado, uh, I'll, I'm just going to pop on now to um, to the platform and uh, take you through the uh, um, the demonstration really. So I'm just going to pop on. It'll probably ask me to log back in again because I've got a timeout on this. Oh no, I'm I'm within that time, so uh, that that's good. Right. So um, this particular screen, you know, a lot of you will recognise it as the uh, the front screen of your courses only platform that you log on to. Now this is essentially your dashboard, your learning manager dashboard that gives you a bird's eye view of how compliant against all the courses that you have set up within your employee training plans. Currently, your version of the platform will only show you how compliant that you are in terms of the training courses that you have actually purchased from the Involve group, but won't include the, the likes of your inductions or you know, in-house training that you do actually provide uh, or policies that maybe you have actually set up that um, you, know, you need your staff to sign as well. So um, you know, what, what we enable you to do with the, the, the platform is to also set up this document, this documentation from a training perspective and incorporate that all within your, your, your compliance meters as well. So here we have the compliance meter we can see how compliant in terms of the employee training records that we have um, our, our top uh, let's say non-conforming managers so here we have uh, you know different people who are responsible for delivering the elements of training to their staff and how compliant that they are in them particular areas so we can see that um, uh, Haley there has got 50 instances, um, you know, of non-compliance there uh, within her uh, group, and um, Shane has got 19, etc. So down here, what we can also see as well is uh, the top non-compliant courses by or documents um, by their course title. So what it allows us to do is to also pre-plan training courses based on the need. So uh, here we have the uh, the training type. This is documents or group learner. Um, courses that is uh, provided by the Involve group um, and you can have like external training courses set up there as well maybe policy set up but I'll show you how to do that in a second but essentially what we can do is we can go in and we can see okay there is 29 um, episodes of this uh, document that need to be signed off by 29 people and if we hit the view button what we're able to see is who them 29 people are so again it allows us to very proactively um, manage um, training courses and plan our training um, sessions that we have due. Here we can see a little summary on the side we've got six people who have completed the course the 17.14% uh, and 29 people that have yet to, to, to complete it. Um, we see here okay are key. We have a grace period, uh, completed, not completed, and expired. And again, um, what this allows us to show uh, or to see is the amount and the volume of people and who they actually are. Who do I need to, to set, a, set up a training course and get these uh, people trained on? Or again, these individuals can actually be trained on that document via the tablet, and we'll show you how that happens uh, in a second. Okay, so over here at the side, we also have um, the expiry details. So this is the courses that are actually coming up um, to expire. So we have actually delivered, uh, let's say, training to uh, these training courses to the individuals um, maybe two years ago, and uh, they have a validity period of the uh, training itself. So we need to now uh, deliver refresher training to um, individuals within uh, this uh, within this discipline itself. So here we can see the course title. We can see that there's two of them have expired. There's 30, uh, one coming up within 30 days and one coming up within 60 days and the other with 90. So again, we've got full visibility as to actually what is happening in terms of um, compliance levels and that. 
drilling right down to the actual courses that are posing us and the procedures that are, uh, let's say, causing us the most risk to our organisation should a, an auditor arrive on site. Okay, so just quickly what we can do is uh, we can set up our employees and um, uh, actually uh, attach courses in that and I'll show you in a second how that uh, works. But uh, we also define our employees and our managers and then we can allocate the employees who the managers have responsibility for. So this is our, our directories um, that we set that up in. Um, just the key areas that I'm pointing out here, this is where we actually set up our documentation and, and define all our documents. The uh, document group, the title, the revision of the document, whether it's been uh, approved or not. We have an approval process uh, within the platform as well so that uh, documents are not, um, let's say, issued until it has been approved by the owner of the document uh, and any details that we want to see uh, within that. If I just want to look at maybe all my cleaning instructions, then I, again I can filter on that. But I'm just going to pop into all my um, all my uh, documentation there. Um, our document control, really, what it allows us to do uh, is, is various different things. Is what we can do is set up the information about the uh, the actual document. We can group them. Uh, we can also give them the title. We give them the revision of the uh, document itself, when it was created, the average training period. Well, we're being told nowadays that a lot more auditors are actually now starting to look for the average, um, uh, let's say, training that you have invested in your employees. So we're able to um, assign or, let's say, define the average training period per document. So this then, when it's completed, we'll do a tally of the, um, the completed training that that employee he has done throughout the year. We can also give it a grace period, define that. Now that is really up to yourselves. This is really a, a reasonable amount of time that you would, uh, let's say, give to the employee to have completed you know, between themselves and the manager uh, to have completed this particular procedure. Um, once it pops out of that grace period, then what it does, it pops into your compliance meters and will show as a non-completion, um, you know, and affect your, your, your compliance levels. Uh, we have the validity period. Uh, again, we can define that. Um, uh, that's up to yourselves to define that as well, whether it's a year, two years, etc. And also the document review. So, uh, you know, we may want to, like in a year's time or six months' time, is see if we need to make any amendments to this document to incorporate it within the training, then we set the review period there as well. The uh, document status, well, we can actually just send this um, live if we want to, or um, you know, we can archive documents off as well as we see fit. This is just an example of a document. Um, so we have uh, attached the um, the actual um, uh, the document associated to this particular piece of training, and then what we also do is we um, we assign the employees. We can assign the the document to this these particular employees, and all I need to do is to add or remove, as the case may be. So. Um, what we also have is the ability to mark this document as a, an awareness only so that it doesn't actually uh, affect our um, compliance. So this is where, okay, this is just a piece of information that the uh, employees need to know, but they don't necessarily need uh, to be trained in this particular area. We can also set up work groups and assign the document to the work group. And the reason why that we do this is that it becomes much, much easier to, um, uh, let's say, manage um, the uh, employees or to add the uh, document to the employee training plan. If I belong to the engineering work group and I have 20 documents as part of my training plan, um, then what I can do is to set up a work group and add the 20 documents to that work group. Then if I have 100 people within the engineering uh, department, then them documents automatically get attached to them hundred there to that hundred people into their training plans without you having to individually go in and uh, update every uh, individual employee training plan uh, with that document added to it. So that uh, you know, it's a good way of uh, quick and effective management of the system as well. Uh, we can also do that uh, with our training packs. If we have training packs that are you know our basic training, we can set the, the the training pack up. The training pack can then be assigned to the work group, and then that automatically gets assigned to the individual employees. 
As I mentioned, we have the uh, approval process that allows us to assign the approvers, and also uh, we get the uh, audit trail here of any uh, previous versions that has actually um, uh, been, um, let's say, associated with that uh, piece of uh, training itself. To up revise the document, uh, we can. Um, we can actually hit the up revise uh, button there and what this tells me that is that the documents already up, up revised and pending um, and, and pending station uh, status I beg your pardon so that is just uh, waiting for approval from the uh, document approver and um, you know again like uh, you know that's something that you're able to do very quickly so that um, so that the, the the document is then uh, that we make sure I beg your pardon that the document uh, is the most up to date uh, document that the trainees been uh, been trained on. Okay, so that's a, a brief look at the document control within there. Um, our learning manager, um, we, we looked at the, the dashboard, but behind the learning manager here, obviously the the, uh, the whole focus and our goal is to move this barometer um, up to the green section itself, and we very much work with you to help you increase your levels there of compliance as well. The employee side, well, what this allows us to do, as I mentioned, was to actually assign a, um, an employee plan. If I just look at Rachel there, uh, I'll open uh, Rachel's record. What we actually see here is um, when it opens is uh, Rachel's details, uh, a little bit of um, information about, Re uh, about Rachel. We can also apply a photograph. One of the things that uh, people was actually saying to us was that, uh, you know, especially in more larger environments, is that, uh, you know, it's okay having a name uh, for people to, um, you know, go to train the, the, the name of the person, especially if you're in HR or, um, you know, training uh, function where you're not actively working with them side by side every day. But sometimes they don't know who it is that, uh, you know, and it can take them maybe a half an hour to find who the individual is because they don't no idea um, you know what they look like so uh, this way we're able to attach a photo which is, is quite nice as well um, so what we have here is the training plan and um, uh, this is Rachel's training plan and what we can see is a breakdown uh, at a glance and again a bird's eye view of what Rachel has done Rachel has carried out uh, the uh, new starter induction which was actually delivered via our respond point technology and that was in a classroom environment and she has actually completed that. We can see that she has done some of her um, group learner training as well or CIH level 2 food safety. Um, sorry, she hasn't completed that, but what she has done is completed a, a couple of other areas down in here. Now, what we have the ability to do is that if I look at one of these um, instruction cards, what I can do, so this again is when your auditor is on site and actually looking for the associated documents, so they're looking for the, uh, the sign off um, for the document itself. This is Rachel's manager, Sean McCrory, and this is Rachel's signature. If we want to actually look at the um, uh, supporting documents, then we can also add that supporting document as well to uh, the record. Um, if um, if we have actually, uh, let's say, um, completed one of these, um, I'll actually look at another another one. Let's say the driving a forklift uh, procedure. There, uh, if I look at that. Sorry, I'm having a wee bit of problem with my internet at the moment, guys. Um, just bear with me, please. Okay, so uh, sorry about that, guys. I, I have a little lead here that uh, keeps popping out um, for my internet connection, so uh, apologies about that. <laughs> um, so what we have, we, we've actually gone into a different record here. Um, if I look at, uh, let's say this is um, Stephen's uh, training plan here, I look at the uh, work instruction um, that has been completed here, or the uh, cleaning instructions, should I say. Um, what we can see here, again, as I mentioned, the, um, the actual uh, sign-off by both the, the employee and the managers. This is the, um, the actual document that has actually uh, been signed off by the uh, employee here, and I can download that document. So again, if the, um, 
if the actual uh, auditor needs the um, evidence of the document that has actually been trained on, then we've got that associated to the um, associated to the actual uh, employee or to the record. Um, if we have any hard copy sign-offs that uh, you know people do on on still do on paper, then again we can attach the the, the actual hard copy sign-off as well, if if need be as well. But again, our whole goal is really to to try and move you away from the uh, the paperless um, and uh, sign off and, and, and make the whole uh, process paperless. Okay, so we're just going to close down um, from the um, employee training plans. But what we're in now is the reporting side of the platform. Now, what this uh, allows us to do is to get them senior management level reports that uh, essentially shows us uh, at a bird's eye view uh, what is actually happening here. So I'm just going to pop down and use an example um, from a management perspective, an example of some of the courses that, uh, that we have here. So we can see here that uh, we have um, uh, let's say Healy uh, here who's got um, 62 training plans assigned. Some There's zero within the grace period, 50 have not been completed but 10 have. So if I just go in here and we can see that two of them have expired as well. So what this allows us to do is to actually uh, look at a report here that tells us a, uh, you know, a couple of um, two things, or one of two things should I say, is that for this particular manager, Healy, um, here we can see all the employees that Healy is responsible for. Going across the top, uh, we have the, um, well, we have the employee name, but we have the actual uh, procedures or the training procedures that we need to, um, to actually train Healy on. Now, what we can see is what, um, sorry, the training procedures that we need to train Haley's uh, employees on. So what we can see here is the uh, these procedures going across, what has been completed, what hasn't been completed in the same fashion. Uh, if we go across, right across to the right-hand side, what we're able to see is how compliant these employees, the different employees are in terms of the, uh, the training plan that we have associated to them or the, the areas of training that we need to provide to them and the, you know what they haven't actually completed. So here we can see, uh, yeah, there's, there's quite a few that um, you know, probably need quite a bit of training here. So um, it not only tells us that, but for each training uh, instance or procedure, it actually tells us how compliant that we are against each of the training procedures here. So there's quite a lot within my database, and this is only a demo database, that uh, you know I need to pick up and I need to ensure that uh, these individuals are actually trained in these specific areas because these are the people that present us the most risk, not just in terms of um, an audit, um, you know, and an auditor arriving on site, but if they haven't been trained in the, the basic um, functions of um, operating uh, machinery, uh, especially when it comes to cutting equipment and stuff like that, then they're posing you huge risk from a health and safety perspective. So again, from a senior management perspective, this allows us to get like a snapshot of uh, what is happening there. Okay, um, I just am very conscious of time, guys, as well. So uh, I'm just going to pop back into um, my presentation because I want to show you our tablet apps and how they are actually, um, you know, affected, well, not affected, but uh, how you see them on the tablet. So this is really where we're replacing our paperwork with electronic sign-off. Um, these are our tablet apps. This uh, shows us, obviously, the training plans, uh, manager reports, gives us access to training courses and work group reports, etc., from the, the, the app. It also allows us to train the employee on documents or indeed courses um, on the spot if we want to and, and sign off documentation. So the, the benefit of this is that, okay, if we take the example of maybe a piece of machinery has, um, has actually broken down and we may have several employees who are waiting for the engineers to, to, to fix or the mechanics to, to, to fix the, um, the, the machinery, then we could potentially be signing off documents on the spot to increase our, our um, compliance levels. So what, what actually happens here is that uh, 
we can go into the employee records. Okay, Stephen is one of these people that uh, that actually has uh, you, you know a bit of downtime now because he's working on a piece of uh, machinery, a production machinery which is down. I can go into his record. We can see what's been assigned, what's been completed, and not completed. He's got 32 procedures there that he needs signed off. Um, so what we can do is go into his record um, and and select each of the uh, or any of the um, the procedures that he needs to be trained on. Here is the document, um, one of the documents that I'm going to train um, Stephen on at this time. And uh, there, Stephen, he's read the document. I'm happy from a manager's perspective that he's read it and that he's understood it. So Stephen actually signs it off. And we also have, uh, as you see here, a manager signature. I don't have the um, uh, screenshot of that as to how that looks, but uh, uh, just the same um, way that the uh, employee signature works. We're able to launch a course from the platform um, as well. So uh, this is our courses that you will be familiar with using the group learner courses. Uh, again, they can be run from the, uh, the tablet, and um, just as part of uh, as part of our service as well, uh, back to you guys in helping you to to increase your your, your compliance levels. What we offer um, uh, as part of that service is that we provide you with a, a detailed manage, management report on a monthly basis. So you'd get this um, from myself uh, uh, on the st you know the first day of every month. And what essentially it tells us is uh, where are our areas of exposure um, in terms of our own um, obligations to health and safety to our employees, and also in terms of our exposure uh, to the uh, BRC auditors or indeed our customer auditors essentially when they arrive on site. So um, you know that is uh, effectively where we help you towards um, and what we can actually help you with. Uh, I'm just going to um, pop through uh, some a couple of questions. I'm very conscious of time here. Um, I'll, I'll pick up with each of you individually as uh, you know uh, as we go along. But actually, at the end of the se uh, at the end of the session, um, before you log out, we'll we'll issue you with a wee questionnaire as to um, you know if you want any different areas of information. But it's just really you know uh, what your next steps um, might. Be that you want to take, um, but just to, to to address a couple of questions here, uh, we've got uh, Sean who's asking how long does a platform like this take to set up? Um, Sean, this uh, essentially we provide you with very easy way of um, populating information into our platform. We provide you with templates, import templates, and essentially they're they're Excel spreadsheets. But we would get that out to you where you can copy and paste essentially the um, uh, the list of your employees, and then we will up upload that. Uh, onto your platform, as with if you have your training matrix uh, information on courses that you build up within the, the, the pack platform, we will build up your, your courses, uh, your documents, anything that you have signed off, we will work with you to um, to, to get that information up as, as quickly as we possibly can into the platform. So, you know, essentially we see people within, um, you know, one to two weeks, um, you know, even within days, depending on how, how much time that you have to, you know, sit down and, uh, you know, copy and paste the information. So, yeah, within a couple of weeks, um, you know, you should be ready to rock and roll, um, you know, providing that we've uh, got that information in there. So uh, very easy there. Um, uh, we also have um, someone asking there, uh, Jonathan, you're asking about licensing. Um, does everybody need a license to, to, to use this? Uh, not your employees, no. How, um, how we license the platform is uh, essentially by numbers of people that actually are using it to manage the whole training process. So um, your our introductory level actually comes with a, um, a three user platform. We're, we're, we're looking at um, increasing that to five. Um, so uh, you know, but we'll, we'll work um, we'll work with you to, to, to get your licensing numbers right anyhow. But guys, I'm really conscious of the time and apologies I've run over because of the, um, the issues that I've had with the um, internet. I am going to um, finish off now. Uh, all that remains for me to uh, actually say is thanks very much for joining us. I hope you found the session useful. Um, we uh, have another customer webinar coming up tomorrow. 
that we will be doing, and that is really how to embrace the whole paperless, uh, complete quality management to include your your audits and managing your corrective actions um, on behalf of the organisation. So, if there's any of your technical or quality people that you think may be interested in learning a wee bit more about our um, BRC Manager solution, then please do uh, extend the invite to them. You can pop onto our uh, website there, which is involvedgroup.com uh, forward slash webinars, and they'll be able to register direct themselves. So, um, yeah, uh, thanks very much again for, for joining us. And, um, you know, I, I'll, I'll end the session now so that you can um, answer the questions on whether you'd like any further information of that. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye bye now.